installation of NAV 2015 is very similar to 2013 or 2. There's a couple of differences is using SQL 2014 instead of 2012. And if you um, installing on a Windows 7, as I'm going to do, you will need some prerequisites. In there. Those ones are the same as 2013 or 2 also. But let's uh, uncompress um, all the files in there. This one is run uh, on a laptop with a virtual box uh, with a dual core assigned to uh, this virtual box. So all the files are extracted and it's very similar to what it used to be. You run the setup exe. It will come up, run the installation, I'll accept it. And when I click install the demo, it say it's missing PowerShell and a missing Outlook. And on this computer, I don't have any Outlook installed and that's fine, but you can't continue without PowerShell um, in here. SQL Server 2014 is one of the differences from NAV 2013 or 2 that shipped with the 2012 SQL Server Express in the demo. So the install finished, if you view the problem report, because it's missing the Windows PowerShell, uh, and it actually keeps on going without that one. But it actually means that the shell won't work uh, properly at that time. And then Outlook was missing, so there's some component in here that won't work either at that point. But let's take a look at uh, what was installed in here. I have the development shell, the development environment, but the uh, administrative shell is not in here because my power shell was missing. But I can open up my NAV 2015. So my uh, administration shell didn't finish either, so let me go here and uh, close this one in here. So um, let's look at the development environment. And the SQL Server installed well. The demo, demo database is in here, and I can see the objects in here. So that works fine to look at the database and we need to install the management studio because that's uh, only the configuration manager is actually as normally installed uh, with the NAV install. That's quite a lot of uh, installing. So, but let's see if the server actually came up now. And it didn't install the server either because the shell, power shell was actually missing in here. So uh, this install um, did only the client part of it and the SQL server and the database. 
but the service tier and the other parts are actually missing in here uh, of this install. So to look at the prerequisites, if you install about this one up front, you would have the .NET uh, to install first because Windows 7 don't have that. I already have uh, 4.5 installed with NAV, so we should be able to just run the install for PowerShell 3.0 down here. And it's a standalone file that has been downloaded from Microsoft, this one, but you can also add it um, by running an installer that will download as needed in here. So we now install the prerequisites and it wants to restart in here. I'll go run my install one more time. It looked like the server actually installed fine in here, um, but I don't think the service actually was in here. So the Microsoft Dynamics Map server is actually not in here. And it's not possible to just restart this install one more time. So I will have to uh, figure out how to get this one running. So I'll make it uh, not available in here and apply that change. And see now it didn't. Um, complain about my power share any longer. Then I will go in, run it from this computer, apply the change, and it's now installing the server in here. So when it installed, only the Outlook in uh, was not there. If I go look at services, See the Microsoft Dynamics Snap server uh, is now in here. It has been started. So if I now open up the client, I search in here, I'll see that I have my administration shell also in there. And I can run that one. That's the power shell as it's referred to in here. And uh, I also have my client and my NAV 2015 now works fine in here. As with 2013 or 2, you also have a web client, you have a tablet client, and you need online help also in here that require an oil server. You typically would not install the help server locally for sure, because if you do that, then you have a internet uh, information server running locally on your own computer. But for my demo setup in here, I'm going to add a component in here. So I'm going to add both my web server component and my help server uh, component in here, running on my own. Both of these ones require an internet information server, and you typically want to put those ones on a separate computer that is actually having um, a firewall against your local network, maybe, to prevent 
anyone hacking the web server try to gain access to your your environment so uh, but i have just added the web server and the help server and there are some settings in here where it actually defaults to where to put the information i'm just leaving all that alone outlook is still not installed on this computer first thing is it's changes the windows configuration to add the internet information server that's a standard piece of uh, windows that is actually enabling in here so it brings the windows parts Installing the web server components, and then it will install the NED help server. The main thing also that one is around 25,000 um, files per language. So if you're installing the North American version, even if it looks like it's almost done, it's going to take quite a lot of time to uncompress all the many files. And when we do it, when we do it, we can actually go take a look at um, where it's placing the files. And I have. Dynamics, I have the internet information server root, and I'll have my help server. And if I look under help, and each language will have its own folder. If I look under English in here, I can see this number is growing in here because that's the number of help documents being added in here. If you have an ISV solution that adds help, you want to add them inside the same folder. In here. But again, I don't have Outlook installed, so that's what it's complaining about in here. So if I now search for NAV, so it added a link in here for the team. I got a link here to the NAV web client in here. As I open that one, it's in the browser, it uh, connects to my own local server so that it can change any of the port numbers. And I will see in here that I'm actually running this standard internet information server that comes with Windows 7. So it's not um, in uh, a version that actually support that one. So uh, to get this one running, I'm just going to install Google Chrome. So Chrome just installed and it's uh, with the latest version. So uh, I'm not going to sign in. But uh, I'll go copy this link here, paste it up here, in, and I will sign in with my credentials for this computer. Yeah. And 
am now um, connected to my row center in my web client. Very similar looking, all the same features as many other things in here. If I go take a look at sales orders, and I want to get the help for this field up here, I click on the little drop arrow, and then I actually uh, go to the help in here, and I will just say always allow pop ups in here. And now showing the online help using the help server. So it works Windows client, uh, web client. The last piece in here is there's also a new tablet client, and there's not a link added to it in here. But there's a pretty simple trick to actually get the tablet client to work. So the normal connection, you just write tablet ASPX, and you now run the tablet client. And depending on how you actually shrink the page here, it's exactly like running different tablets with different screen sizes. Or if it gets taller than wide, it will take the uh, vertical mode compared to the horizontal. So it's a uh, Pretty neat uh, tool in here. You can look at all the functions and things like that on the, on the tablet. But that's basically conclude the install. We installed the default install. It failed because I didn't have the PowerShell added. Then I went through, added the PowerShell manually, removed the servers, the server, added the server again, and it's corrected the install for that one. After that, I installed the help server and the web server. And all works fine in the Windows 7 environment without running any updates. You could, of course, run the updates, and then you would also have your Internet Explorer uh, working with NAV in here. But um, Chrome works fine for that.